<clears throat> Hello, and thank you for joining us today. Today, we will be working on our TikTok inspired craft, which is a hanging bookshelf. When you pick up your materials, you will receive one dowel, two clamps, some drywall anchors and screws. Sorry if your wall isn't drywall, we just kind of anticipated that would probably be the most common one. Um, some uh, twine, some embroidery, uh, excuse me, not some embroidery floss, but um, some uh, nice kind of like glossy ribbon and some beads. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the things to know is if you don't have a drill or a drill bit or you don't have a way to make holes in your uh, drywall, that's okay. The anchors included have a drill function on them. So all you need to do, and I've started my hole just to show you, but um, all you need to do is hold it in place where you've marked and using a screwdriver, you will start applying medium pressure and begin screwing. If you have to use a screwdriver, this will take a little bit. Um, I do recommend using a screwdriver. My drill, uh, the drill can mess up that internal structure there and you don't want that to happen. You know you've finished uh, getting it into your drywall when it's flush with the wall. That is an accident I've had with the screw, but that's okay. Or the screwdriver, I should say. Um, but yeah, once it's flush with the wall, you know it's in and you're good to go to the next step. Okay, so next you're gonna wanna line up your clamp so that way it's with those holes and then go ahead and put the screws in and then you're going to screw in so that way it's not yet tight because you don't want it too tight yet, but um, it's not gonna fall off the wall while you do the other side. Once they're um, secured in, the clamps, enough that they're loose, you're good to go ahead and insert your dowel rod into either side of those clamps. And then you're gonna go ahead and screw the rest of the way in. All right. So with our bookshelf hung up, we are ready to start attaching our strings. I already have a few attached just so you can get kind of an idea of the lengths you can do. Um, there's various lengths and you can also see this is fairly movable. Um, so that's, that's useful. And you can also move these guys fairly easily. Okay, so to make the uh, string that is used to um, hold the books, you're gonna go ahead and fold your string in half and place a bead near the bottom, if you want a bead. You can actually do this without the beads and just not. And then where the halfway mark is, where the, the top of the U would be, you're just gonna add some knots and um, make it nice and thick so that way it's gonna hold your book securely. Then on the other end, you're going to knot that and tie off the excess. And then to attach this to your bookshelf, you're just going to carefully kind of pull it in through the back over and then you're going to pull your bead through and you're going to make what's called a lark's head or a cow hitch knot that's there at the top and that's going to be used for holding your books okay we're ready to add our books now all right so the way you're going to do this as you can see i have placed the the string kind of in the middle of the book. If I go under, you'll see that it is towards the end. And uh, I, my bead actually fell out and you can see the knot still holding strong. And you're gonna do that with however many strands you have. And you can of course use different material besides twine or ribbon. We just thought that was a nicer option. Then um, just some generic string. I would recommend making sure it's a good sturdy string just cause you want something that's gonna be durable. So your generic kind of yarn might not be the best choice. Probably not the best angle for me, but uh, it's a lot taller than I am. And also, so my cat can't get it. But we have this nice hanging bookshelf. It is a TikTok inspired craft. So if you enjoyed this, let us know. Uh, if you wanna find out more about programs that we're offering with the Pikes Peak Library District, please go to ppld.org. And there you'll find all the information that you could want. Thanks for watching. Bye.